What up, gang? Matt here, Acoustic Selection. I'm going to teach you a song I've loved in church lately called Center of It All. Uh, it's going to use the four chords, a G chord. Find a G note every other white key. That's your G chord. A C chord is a C note every other white key. An E minor is an E every other white key. And then let's see, we also got A minor is an A every other white key. So you can see a G, C, E minor, and A minor are just find the A, G, whatever, in every other white key. And now the D chord, it's going to be a D, F sharp, and a G. I mean an A right there. That's your a G chord. Now what you're going to do is find a timing. I've got the, the chords up here written by how many times? G twice, D twice, and so forth. So it goes, Jesus be the center of it all. So let's go through the chords here. I'm going to start out this how many times you play each. G for two, D for two, G for four. C for two, G for two, D for two. So, Jesus be the center of it all. Jesus be the center of it all. So that's actually four there. And then you go down this line. From beginning to the end, it'll always be, always be you, Jesus. Four C's. Jesus. So you see there, G for two, D for two, and so forth. I've got the label on there labeled. And like I said, this one's going to be, let me mark that out. That's going to be a four count. Um, so that's going to be your timing. And then on the, uh, the chorus, Gonna start with Z. Nothing else matters. Four C's, then A minor. Nothing in this world will do. Two sets of four in the G. Then repeat it. Jesus, you're the center. Everything revolves around you. Jesus, you. And the last time you do a D. So it's C for four, A minor for four, G for eight, repeat it, and then do a D at the end instead of just four Gs. So again, what you want to do is first learn these chords with your right hand. I go over this in my Praise in 10 Days DVD. And then you're going to do the same chords with the left hand and do what's called a rhythmic pattern. So if, it's, if it says G2, you do a G left hand, G right hand, then just your right hand. So both right. Then you go to a D2. Both do a D right. So it goes, Jesus be the center of it all, two, three, four. Jesus be the center of it all. Down to this line. From beginning till the end, it'll always be, always be you, Jesus. Jesus. Does that make sense? So start out, just learn that right hand and get that timing down and learn those chords. Your G, A minor, C, E minor, and D. We're going to learn those first five chords. Make sure you learn those. Then you do with just your right hand learn. Nothing else matters. Three, four, A minor. Nothing in this world will do. Jesus be the center. said then you would learn that both in Jesus be the center everything revolves around you both right both right Jesus the center, center. Both. everything revolves around you Jesus you and then the last little part I didn't write down, it's going to be that bridge, a D, E minor, G. From my heart to the heavens, E minor, Jesus be the center, C, all about G, U, yeah, it's all about you. You repeat it, from my heart to the heavens, Jesus be the center, all about you. Yes, it's all about you. 
I'll put a link to ultimateguitar.com that has the chords and stuff here. But make sure you learn those five chords, guys. G, C, E minor, D. And get more and more comfortable, and then you learn to combine them. You can play thousands of worship songs. So if you go on my, um, zoom out here. If you go on my playlist tab, go to acousticselection.com, click on playlist. At the bottom, I've got so many PDFs. They have the chords in the exact place. It's not like uh, other websites that throws them off without stuff. So uh, be sure to go check that out. And uh, thank you guys for all the support. If you're just starting out begin a beginner, the piano DVD will get you right where you need to be fast to play thousands of worship songs. So thank you all for the support. I love you, but most importantly, God loves you. Holla.